Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is the motor from a candy tumble dryer. Here's a candy tumble dryer. And there's a washing machine motor up on top to make it go extra quick. Just that small load in it, that is how much resistance there is. Tumble dryer bearings can't do it. Getting a lot of friction. Can't tell if the bearings are hot there. Is this bit getting hot? There's a bit of friction here, I think, because all that plastic there is peeling off. Let's see. The belt's quite loose, but it's not slipping. Yeah, it's not even. It's hot, but it's not really hot. Okay. I'm going to fire it up and we'll just throw it in when it's uh, spinning fast. Because it won't go if it's spinning slow can't get itself up to speed. So let's try it again, get it up to speed, and just chuck it in and see what happens. So I've plugged it out, the motor just burst off there, it's a little bit warm, if I put that back on it will probably go again, oh that's hot, that's hot, it wanted to crash over there, it's damaged the paddles, but it hasn't done much more damage really, I don't know, I think this could just trundle on all day long, there's so much friction coming off the drum that the thing doesn't really it doesn't really work like a washing machine it doesn't really get up to speed so no matter what you do it's not going to go any faster maybe if you put the washing machine motor at the bottom you'd be pulling down against those two bearings on the front there's two bearings in there like rollers you're pulling down against them rather than up against them it's or up away from them very hard to know I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it that's the experiment for now any questions or comments or ideas, get them in quick. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. See you later.